Yesterday, I posted the full interior cleaning to this Ford Expedition. A lot of you mentioned you like the vacuuming part, so I figured I'd pull that portion out of that and, and give it its own dedicated video. It's still gonna be sped up, just not as fast. That way the sound isn't as high pitched as it was in yesterday's video. Uh, but other than that, it's just gonna be the actual vacuuming part because that was just a majority of what I did here on this detail. Before we get started, if you wanna know the tools and products that I use for this detail or just the guide to start your detailing business, check that in the description box down below. If you wanted to, you could blow it all the debris out with some, with either an air compressor or some type of blower. Uh, I personally just don't want to do that just because I literally don't want to just push or, or blow away all the debris and trash from the interior onto the customer's driveway. That just doesn't seem fair because then I just, I didn't remove it, I just moved it away to another spot. So that's why I always try to vacuum uh, uh, most of it first and then towards the end, that's when I'll blow whatever thing, you know, whatever uh, amount of debris I can get out through using a blower, I'll do that, but for starters, I want to make sure I'm getting everything into the vacuum, not onto the ground. And I'll just quickly mention that if you are doing this as a business, that drill brush with that drill touch attachment is a huge lifesaver to really loosen up the debris that's stuck into the carpet or any fabric material that you're cleaning or vacuuming. Uh, without this, I mean, it would just take a lot more time because I would have to use a manual brush uh, or a brush and just, you know, I do the work myself and uh, instead of using the, the brush. So it does come in very handy. It, if you don't have a, a drill yet, I mean, it might be a little pricey, uh, but it's definitely, definitely uh, useful, and I highly, highly recommend you pick one up if you're doing interiors. If you don't do that many interiors, well then, you know, maybe you can wait a little bit. But I would definitely say if you do see interiors quite a bit, I recommend it because not only is it used with that red drill brush, but you can also put the other brush attachment to agitate the carpet, and it just it, it's probably one of the best tools I have in my arsenal.
and that's gonna wrap up the vacuuming phase on this video if you are interested in watching the full interior cleaning where I clean the seats the vacuum center console dashboard and all that jazz check my most recent video because that's where I posted it other than that let me know if you have any comments questions concerns I have all the links to the guides resources products and tools in the description box I will see you on the next one